Welcome everybody. My name is Dr. Emily Burrell. I'm a veterinarian here at the Piper Equine Hospital at the Louise Leatherdale Equine Center. Um, I have horses myself, so I'm excited to talk to you today about all that we offer here. Um, we serve over 2,000 horses annually and they come from all over the country. Um, I think this is a great opportunity to show you the state-of-the-art facility that we have here. Normally, we would greet you right now with our masks on and we would keep our distance, but for this tour, I'm going to remove my mask so that you can hear me better. So here we are in our front office lobby. When you come in, you're greeted by our front office staff um, and you'll be, your horse is treated by one of our three specialty services, large animal medicine, large animal surgery, and large animal theriogenology. We also have our West Metro Ambulatory Division that's based out of Long Lake, Minnesota, and together we are all part of the Veterinary Medical Center. As you come in, we have um, a nice waiting area for you to rest, relax while we work on your horse. Um, there's a coffee station to grab a nice cup of coffee. We have vending machines and a notebook that lists all of the restaurants around town that deliver to the Piper Equine Hospital. Our front office staff includes Ashley and Connie, and they're always happy to answer questions and greet you when you come in. Here at the University of Minnesota's College of Veterinary Medicine, our three tenants include clinical service, education, and research. And all three of those are woven into what we do every day. Um, our first stop on the tour is one of our exam rooms. This is one of usually three locations that your horse will start in upon arrival here at the university. Um, we have a set of secure stocks to make sure they're safe during their exam. And all of the supplies and equipment that we could need are either in this room or are brought to this room to help us make a diagnosis. Here we are in our intensive care unit. Um, I think this is a very important part of our hospital. This is where we house horses suffering from colic, those that have just recently come out of surgery and need extra attention, um, or any other case that we are worried about that needs round-the-clock monitoring. We have cameras in each stall that are connected to our computers and can be accessed remotely 24 hours a day. Um, we also have amenities like a heavy hoist um, that can be useful when a horse needs assistance standing. Uh, this area is climate controlled, so no matter the weather outside in our Minnesota <laughs> climate, your horse is comfortable and happy in here. Here we are in one of my favorite parts of the hospital. Um, this is our new neonatal intensive care unit, um, recently completed and made possible through a generous gift from a donor. Um, this facility is within the Piper Equine Hospital and it allows us to provide um, really advanced care to our full patients. So let me show you around a little bit. So we have a small pen here that is designed for our foals that are either needing to be separated temporarily from mom or aren't able to stand. But we have a nice pass through that allows the foal to go back and forth in between the mare stall if need be. When baby is in here and not in with mom, there's a pass through that allows mom to put her head in and make sure that she stays bonded with her baby. Um, we have everything we could need in here to treat foals with the best care possible, including um, state of the art equipment that was also a donation. This is a blood pressure monitor, allows us to also keep track of the heart rate um, and a, a number of other essential things when we're taking care of babies. So one of my favorite spots, the NICU, the NICU. This is our surgical suite or operating room at the Piper Equine Hospital. Um, in this room, our board certified surgeons can do anything from a colic surgery to an orthopedic procedure, um, all while your horse is comfortably asleep and monitored by one of our board certified anesthesiologists. Um, we are able to do intraoperative imaging, radiographs, um, and we have a fully trained team to assist all of our doctors during surgery. Next up, I'm excited to show you one of our newest and most state-of-the-art additions to the hospital. This is our standing CT unit that was recently made possible by a generous gift from our donor. Um, this is a unique unit, one of only a handful like it in the country, and it allows us to take very detailed images um, of the head, the limbs, the neck, um, and a lot of other parts to help us make a diagnosis. And the best part about this is that our patients no longer have to be anesthetized, but can instead just be sedated and standing for the procedure. 
Once the images have been acquired, we send those off to a board certified radiologist with whom we partner to get an expert readout of the, of the study. Next up is another point of pride for us here at the University of Minnesota. This is our standing MRI unit, unit that was made possible thanks to generous donations. Um, this allows for detailed imaging of the soft tissue structures in the leg of a horse. Um, once again, the advantage here is that our patients can be sedated and don't need to be anesthetized, but we get the same quality of images um, and allows for better diagnosis by our surgery department. Right now we're in the radiology reading room. So once we've taken our images, whether they are radiographs or a CT or an MRI, um, those images are sent to our computer system and we can review them here on our high definition screens. Um, we often bring our clients back to this room to better um, explain what we have found using those imaging te technologies. Um, and we will utilize anything from the images to our skeleton models to help you understand what we found. Sometimes when you're here visiting, your veterinarian will recommend that your horse stays with us in the hospital. Um, we have a number of roomy, spacious stalls that are comfortable. Um, we are staffed 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so there are always people on hand to take care of your beloved horse. Um, each animal is assigned their own locker when they arrive, so if you have blankets or supplements or anything that you need to bring with you, we are able to take care of that. Um, there are wash stalls and um, cameras that allow us to provide everything that you could possibly need. Thank you for joining us on this tour of the Piper Equine Hospital here at the Leatherdale Equine Center. We hope it gave you an appreciation for our amazing facility where we are able to do what we love, providing service to you and your horses while also educating the next generation of equine veterinarians. We are here if you need us.